If fish evolved, then there must be invertebrates which slowly acquired some of the features of the vertebrates. We do know of such invertebrates and we call them primitive chordates. In fact, vertebrates belong to a phylum, a big group called the phylum chordata. And this phylum chordata not only includes the vertebrates, but also small invertebrates known as chordates. Today, there are primitive hemichordates. Uh, these are also known from the early Cambrian, which have some features of the vertebrates, such as a pharynx with slits. There is a small group of invertebrates known as the chordates, which are alive today and which are known from the early Cambrian period and perhaps even from the late Precambrian period. These chordates have a number of features which they share in common with fish that no other invertebrates possess. Uh, the hemichordates seem to be the uh, simplest and the ancestral form from which all of uh, the deuterostomes uh, have evolved, including the echinoderms. Uh, among other things, they have uh, pharyngeal uh, arches, which later chordates would convert into gills. The urochordates and cephalochordates are the true chordates. They actually have a notochord, uh, which is a support rod uh, prior to the evolution of a backbone, which the primitive uh, vertebrates all possessed. Uh, they possess a postanal tail where the digestive system does not go to the end of the body. Their nervous system uh, is hollow and along their back as opposed to being solid along their front. They have the beginnings of a liver. They have the beginnings of a hypothalamus and pituitary gland. These chordates possess a number of traits which mark them as being the sister group of fish. And fish likely evolved from the chordates of the early Cambrian period.